I will say hello and welcome to everyone. My name is AJ Dean. I am your co-host and we are at Ninon Speaks Media Image Zoom show and I'd like to welcome everyone and introduce my wonderful boss Ninon Devere De Rosa. Hello Ninon. Hey, hey how are you? I'm great. How are you? I, mean, this is a, I, I think the world is amazing. I think the things are going on in it. I know we've got two beautiful guests. Um, we also, I, I do believe that Steve is going to be watching the show, so we actually have to be on our kind of best behavior, Steve, don't we, huh? Steve, yep. how are you doing? Yep. And uh, I don't know if Susan's there, but if Susan is, hello, and if she's not, still hello. <laughs> okay, why don't you, um, let's get the two guests on. Okay, I will admit them, and... Uh... So let's admit both of our guests. I do want to say Steve Bannon is the executive president in charge of public relations at Turner Bannon King Entertainment Network. And he also has a new channel, WPA News ITV. That's WPA News ITV. It's a wonderful new channel. And I want to give a shout out to him and thank him and Susan King for all their beautiful, wonderful press releases that they have created for us. And welcome to Tim Wise. He's a Las Vegas magician and creator of Abra.tv, all things magical. He also knows Georgette Dante. I wanted to get that in. Everyone, please welcome him and check out his new website and magical channel, Abra.tv, for all things magical. And then we also have Kitten on the Keys, Suzanne. On, I love that name, Kitten on the Keys. Thank you. Oh, there she is. Doesn't she look lovely? Yes. Oh hello. Suzanne Ramsey, also known as Kitten on the Keys. She is a cabaret performer, MC, pianist, singer, and she also plays ukulele and the accordion. Can you believe that? Isn't that amazing? And she has a YouTube channel called Kitten on the Keys. And type in Kitten on the Keys, Suzanne, and she'll come up. And then subscribe to that channel and see all of her great performances. Welcome, everyone. Hello. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Absolutely, Tim. How are you tonight? I'm terrific. Thank you so much. I want to say uh, quickly that, Kitten, I've seen you perform years ago. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, so how much fun to be on the show with you tonight. That is so awesome. And, and I... Done on purpose. I also, it's a pleasure to meet you. Hello. Um, but Tim, I also know Georgette Dante. Well, how about that? You know, uh, and Nina, thank you. And AJ, we must, you're the host of this show. And all of a sudden, we're not talking. Nice to see you both. Yeah, hello. It's good to see you. So, Tim, um, you actually live in Vegas. Yes, I do. Uh, Las yeah. Vegas for the last 11 years. I love the, I love the city, and uh, it's certainly done many, many things for me. I'm very excited to be here. Good. That's wonderful. Um, so with this pandemic, though, you've had probably, you know, no, no, nobody's appearing anywhere or doing anything anymore. So how have you managed to actually um, get something going or keep yourself going? What, what have you exactly done? Well, it's interesting you say that because yes, all of uh, the, all of the entertainment industry has been affected by this, right? Mine hasn't. Well, well, because you're smart and you've been online for a while, right? Yeah. Right. And so, what was happening though is while this pandemic was in, I realized uh, that I had a little show in Las Vegas called the Hollywood Stars of Magic Show. It was a little close-up magic show where we had the best magicians in the world working in a very tiny room off uh, at the Royal Resort. And while I was in there, uh, I had a great success. And then when the pandemic hit, I said, how do I take this show online? I took it online. It was successful. And then I started a new magic network to help other magicians get their shows and programs out there to take yeah. advantage of this new world that we're in, where we have to now not play to a live audience with a big theater, but make sure you play to the camera, to work to work right in front of the camera. Yeah. So how exciting for me, I've been helping, I mean, it, what's happening for me uh, uh, during this pandemic is actually I've been so busy creating that I haven't even looked down. Isn't that wonderful? You know, I, I, and this is the type of message that we really want to pass on to other people and to other entertainers out there. So that number one, they can get in touch with you, Tim Weiss. Um, in Vegas or wherever, because now since you're on the internet, it doesn't matter where these people are, whereas before they had to be in Vegas. Now they can actually be anywhere. Is, is that the correct Tim? Well, yes, and it's exciting because AJ and I have spoken about uh, my new 
my, the concept here is to use software to help other people. And so I found oh. a software that allows me to broadcast anywhere to create Abra.tv. I took one video player and now I give every magician on Abra.tv, including the organizations, uh, the museums, anybody who's on there, they have their own channel now and they can go live or they can put up their content from what they've done in the past. And in, in addition to that, they can charge a ticket for each and every one of those things, or they can allow it to be viewed for free. And uh, so I'm excited. Uh, Georgette's involved. Uh, a real quick story about Georgette. I met Georgette in Alaska in 1978. I'm 59. Cool. I, was, I was 17. But anyways, Abra.tv and also um, yourvirtualtheater.com, which is basically where you rent your own virtual theater. So yeah. magicians and performers that want to uh, get their message out, there's no limit. There really is no limit. There's, there's no limit at all. But what the, the, exactly what you're doing is what we want to do um, through you is pass this along um, throughout the world because we're actually on the internet, which is worldwide. So we're able to give all your information that you've just mentioned to us. That now goes all the way out there. And now people, and you also mentioned something about they can buy tickets, which means they can make money still with their show. Yes. Um, and, and that goes that goes through PayPal or one of the Yes, let me tell you how that works. What, how does the, that work? Yes, yeah, so thanks for asking. The concept was that when I had my live show in a theater, I charged a real ticket price, right? Yeah, people paid twenty-five to fifty dollars to sit in my little theater. I only had thirty seats. But when the inner this uh, COVID hit and everything, I was like, how do I charge a ticket and not use uh, Patreon or Eventbrite and try to make it w where it's easy? And I was able to find software that allows the viewer to buy a ticket right in the little TV. Mm -hmm. And they can use PayPal, mm -hmm. Apple Pay, Visa, American Express, all of it is through the payment window. So how fun is that? You can charge with the virtual theater, you can charge any ticket price you want. Yeah. And, and then it takes any PayPal or any other payment so system. Anybody, now, are you charging um, for people um, to come on actually on, on your network? Are you charging uh, them? No, my, my concept here with uh, Abra.tv is to create an aggregate site, a place where you can find magic, learn magic, perform if you want, uh, join societies. We have a news program that we're just releasing called Abra.TV News, which is updating the news in the magic world every week. And that's international. Uh, just recently, I'm very excited. I was just appointed the vice president of the Society of American Magicians Assembly, uh, oh. interna international ring and the magic circle in London. So I just uh, was accepted yesterday. I like the me. London part. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I, always, yes. I always love the London part. Uh, I'm going to just leave you one second. Yes, uh, of poor course. Old Susan Ramsey is looking very beautiful there. She's looking absolutely lovely. Yes. Um, is that part of a hat you're wearing, Suzanne? Yes. It's just a. It's, it's just really, a. It's rather it's dapper, and then you've got your sort of kind of leopard skin uh, barely on. <laughs> you've got those lovely shoulders out there. Um, you look absolutely amazing. Well, thank you. Where well, thank are you, you for having me on the show. Oh, it's a pleasure. Where are you situated? Are you in Vegas? Or? Uh, no, I'm not. I do love visiting Vegas yes. but, um, and working there. I actually in San Francisco. How we've never had anybody from San Francisco. Oh. Well, as you know, this show is a very new show. We've only been going, uh, I think, a month or so. Is that right, AJ? A couple of months? Yes. Yeah, That's about a couple so cool. of months. Well, yeah, we're, we're very new because we started this. I, I've, I've had um, Nino speak for many, many years, and I've done a lot of private stuff, and it's been a little bit different than what it is now. So anyway, I got found uh, AJ, or AJ found me. We found each other, and I thought, wow, great to have her on the show and help with the show, and we can bring this show to life because of the pandemic. Oh. So this is how this has kind of all happened. So uh, what Tim is doing, and, and AJ and myself, is bringing all this whole thing to life again because we kind of went, we didn't, none of us really knew what to do. We were like, well, what do we do now? Well, got internet. And I've been doing it. I have another show called Vegas Live with Ninon. Actually, <laughs> yeah, I actually filmed that out of the Pepper Mill Lounge in Vegas. I've been there I saw before. some of your videos. Oh, one, well, thank you. Thank you. What do you think of it? <laughs> I think it's super cool. And oh, the Pepper Mill, it's a, uh, 
a really wonderful kind of old school place. It is old school. I, it I is. love it to had, visit had, and go with my friends. It's yeah. right so across the street from. It was right across the street from my little theater there, and we would. Oh, continue. that's so cool! Really? So every yeah, the Royal Resort is right behind the Pepper Mill, and, and we would. Right right on, it's that on Convention Center Road or something. Yes, Convention yes. Center. It's right. I mean, really, literally, right across right the right parking across lot the from the theater. You go down to get into the Pepper Mill. Well, there's yep. two ways to get into the Pepper Mill. We would conclude every show on a Saturday and then go over there and have lunch. Or, it or was a, with the Burlesque Hall of Fame. I used to be very. My husband and I were very active. Um, I actually met my husband because of the Burlesque Hall of Fame. Really? And, uh, yes, so 20 we years ago. Hang in there, hang in there. We, we were got... in the band together. I played the piano and he played the baritone saxophone and we would uh, first started going to exotic. We got a little story going on here about Susan. So Susan, I know. are you still married? Oh yeah, we're still together. We just oh, celebrated. We're still right. together. So how long have you been married now? Uh, Probably six years, but we've been together about 20 years. Oh, how wonderful. That is amazing. That is absolutely, and you're yeah. still in love, I can and, tell. You're still in love. And when you were saying something about, oh, we haven't had anybody from San Francisco, there are not very many artists still living in San Francisco because of the tech boom and rents are so high here, but people are fleeing the city left and right. and. We feel so well, not that they're leaving it for many other reasons, and, and it's, it's unfortunate that California is in a little bit of a dilemma. It really uh, is. All the people running it and the cost of living and everything. We've got a lot of people coming into Vegas, as you understand. Oh, too. absolutely. Oh, people. You can buy a beautiful home here anywhere from 200000 up. I mean, they're gorgeous. I mean, keep it a secret. My, I mean where <laughs> I live now... We have nothing here. It's all sold. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I just feel fortunate that I'm still here and I have, I want to envision that a renaissance of sorts is going to happen. Okay, and now I Susan, really, are, you still, are you still performing? Um, a little bit. So I just did an outdoor theater festival that was for um, Halloween. I played mm -hmm. a character and I played a little toy piano and played my ukulele and it, it wasn't social distanced enough for me, but it was a beautiful, beautiful event. Okay. Um, and then I do online shows with different pianists. And then, um, as I told AJ earlier, I started a YouTube channel. But it's very hard to get used to YouTube sub subscribers. And, oh, I um, agree with that. that. I've, I've, I have uh, a channel too. What? What is I, that? Tim has an idea for us. Oh, well, no, yeah. well. It's addressing this very problem, what you just mentioned. Is it what I created is something that I didn't want to get involved on. YouTube, for instance, you have to have, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken at this point, a thousand subscribers and 4,000 viewing hours. You are you correct. Can, that you could, before you can make, earn any money there. Unfortunately, then, YouTube absolutely. has changed. And, and if I had done this 10 years ago, it you would have been, been awesome. Yep. Well, yeah, I'm very late to the game. Susan, 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 don't worry about it because at least you've got it now. That's true. Oh, at least no, no, no. I, I love it. And I'm so... going and it's, it's never too late to do anything. It's never oh, no, no, no. I agree with you. I'm, if I'm if still done something going to years ago, and... I would be doing something else now. So I wouldn't be here. So I think what you've done is amazing. I, I think both of you, um, include actually um, AJ as well, all three of you, I've been in this business for many years. I had a, a, another show that was called Voices of Tomorrow. I did that for 16 years of interviewing the younger, younger generation. But I'm very used to all this stuff. I'm used to sort of the, and, and the reason I don't do my, my children's show anymore because I do the internet and I didn't want to have a bunch of lawsuits with women and because we went live to tape. So it was live and I, I what children say they say. And I don't oh, yes. Travel, you know, so I have to be careful. So now I'm over it. I do all <laughs> over 18. <laughs> now, I understand, Susan, um, you are still performing because you are still playing the piano. And you yes. said you wanted to play a little something for us. Hey, Tim, we're going to get treated here. Oh, my goodness. Well, um, what are you going to play? Due to the pandemic, yeah. I'm going to switch gears and play my ukulele that has a little... Um, a piano on it. The key, yeah, I see the keys. That's great. I got some hot nuts, hot nuts. Anybody here wanna find my nuts? 
Yeah. Hot nuts, hot nuts. Boys and girls got hot nuts for sale. You see them one for five, two for ten. You buy them once and then you buy them again. Hot, 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 hot nuts. Buy from the peanut man. Now here's a little verse for the man wearing brown. Hot nuts, hot nuts. I got some hot nuts. Anybody here want to buy some nuts? I got some hot nuts, hot nuts. Boys and girls, I got some hot nuts for sale. I said, see that man all dressed in brown. I hear he's got the hottest nuts in town. That's right. Hot, 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 hot nuts. I'm from Pina Man. I'm from Pina Man. You know you're about to hell. From Pina Man. Well, oh, you are a talent. Isn't she amazing? <laughs> AJ, isn't uh, she amazing? A phenomenal, just an absolute beautiful cabaret performance. I just Thank you. Bravo, you know, bravo, bravo, bravo. As you know one thing I want to say about Susan is, is coming on this show and Susan, doing what you're doing is very, very professional. You are absolutely lovely, really. Thank you. We have people on the show that can't, don't quite understand, but you are professional and absolutely wonderful. Now, um, Tim, you have a trick for us, a little magic trick or something, or are you going to save it for later? I would like to save it for the end, if that's all right. But uh, Well, actually, I would do it now if I were you, because suddenly, um, all right, suddenly, perfect. We, suddenly things go off. and you All right, it. let's go then. We'll do it. All right, let's here we do go. It. Let's go for it. This is something fun. And actually, I'm introducing this to the magic market and because magicians are always creating, right? Correct. And so, uh, th this la in the pandemic, not only have I been creating these networks and everything, I came up with this little fun thing that I thought you might like. Okay. And then this will be its debut on, on the internet. Love it. It'll be the Love debut. It. Okay. okay, we're so ready. I, and by the way, this is my uh, Eugene Berger Award. I was awarded this last year uh, at the Magic and Mystery School Conference. And so he's always in my midst, and he was one of the best creators in magic. Oh, now, how I have, I have this simple salt shaker, right? Now, I'm going to pour a little salt in my hand. Keep your hands up. So okay, can you see that? that? You got salt yeah, in my hand. Okay, there we go. Nothing in my hands, right? Watch right. closely. Here we go. Pour some salt into the hand. Got to get the salt to pour. There it goes. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now, wait, we got a lot of salt. We need a lot of salt for this. Well, you've got a lot of salt there. Let yeah, me tell that's you. That's right. Well, you know, salt of the year. You've got a there lot go. more than a lot. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, that's a lot of salt. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mold this salt. Okay, so you can see that? Yes. I'm going to mold the salt like this. Now, just watch closely. Yeah, I'm watching. Wow, that's amazing. That looks like a snowman. It is a snowman, and it's just in time for Christmas. And this is called the Abominable Salt Man. And what's <laughs> fun about it, it's really fun. Now, look at this. If you blow on and watch what happens. Oh, how cool is that? It lights up. Now, Tim. That's amazing. So oh. this is, this is um, Tim Weiss's new trick. Yes, and it's called the Abominable Salt Man. Let me the get the Abominable you. Salt Man. I mean, yeah, yeah, no, it's cute as heck. First presentation today. Yes. Now look, this is what it, this is what it's called. It's called the Abominable Salt. The Abominable Salt. Yes, and it's the Abominable Salt Man, and it's my new trick. Uh, we're selling it. Uh, if I can pitch it, I'll pitch it. It's only forty dollars and five dollars shipping. Of course, you can pitch it. You can pitch. You can anything pitch anything you want on here, absolutely. Where, Very, if they want to buy, where can they buy it, uh, Tim? Well, you just uh, go to Abra.tv, go to channels, uh, Channel 8, which is my channel. Okay. Because uh, Abra.tv is a place with many channels. You go to Channel 8, and I well, you'll see two tricks there. One called the Big Whooper Snapper, and this very new one called the Abominable Salt Man. That's, that's amazing. Isn't now, that fun? I'm going to ask, I'm going to go back over to Suzanne. That was wonderful. Thank you so much, Tim. I'm coming back to you, though. No, no um, trouble. Suzanne, what I want from you, I'd like to have like a, a two-minute um, presentation of, of you, of probably what you're doing now and what can help you out there. Oh, what... that's so wonderful. Um, I think the best thing is to just follow me on social media. Okay. And um, I do have PayPal and and all those sorts of things and um if 
you enjoy what you see. I, I go live. And um, what, will, what will you be doing on this? What do you what um, will you playing the piano? Yes. And and singing. Um, I do a thing. It's called Bridge Bang. It's between two piano bars, one in San Francisco okay. and one in Oakland. And since there's a bridge that divides the two, uh -huh. we all four different pianists get together and play different songs for each other. And then we have an opera singer come in. It's a really cool thing. And that's on the 14th. And one of the pianists, I kept going, he's awful good. Boy, he's good. And I found out that he played with Van Morrison Wow. And also with, um, oh, my, my brain is, is terrible. Um, um, never mind. Oh, Bonnie Raitt. Oh, so, oh really? That's cool. And so wow. I feel really honored to be amongst people because this isn't normally what I would be doing, but I've been so but you've excited. Become very, you've inventive this whole thing for yourself. Yeah, just like and, I'm. But you haven't kept it for yourself, you're bringing in other people which is really what they all need because I, I think in the entertainment business, we all want to help each other. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's what's been so lovely about it. And yeah. I think that that's such a great, a great message. We really need to keep the arts going and entertaining. I'm lives. sorry to interrupt. Absolutely. I believe that too. Suzanne, you are beautiful. And I want to ask you about that beautiful t-shirt behind you, the black, beautiful t-shirt that you have or the sequin top, whatever oh, that is. But it's, we have it's I Wait. usually put it on my piano. It just says kitten on the keys. Look at that. Wow. It's lovely. It is lovely. We have about, I'd like to make an announcement. We have about eight minutes and 43 seconds left. Okay. Well, okay. let me finish up with, well, let me, Susan, um, I want you to put out there again um, how people can reach you. They can find me. My stage name is kitten on the keys. Okay. I have a website. I have Instagram. I have YouTube, I have a Facebook page, um, I have CDs that you can buy, and I put all my shows um, on both Instagram and Facebook. I'm really good about keeping on top okay. of it. Okay, so you have, um, we have Kitten on the Keys, um, mm -hmm. Susan Ramsey, and you can reach her there. She's become very inventive of this media, social media, which is amazing. Now, back down to you, Tim Weiss. Tim, can I have a two minutes of um, what you're doing? And, and we have to obviously not hurry, but we want to make sure Wrap we- it up, sure. And let me interject, yeah. Kitten, I can help you, okay? So take that, well, when I tell you the email, just jot it down and really contact me, because I, um, okay. I can help you. Well, AJ, you can, you, AJ, you can, um, make sure that, that Susan Thank can. you. Thank Let's you. Let's connect. Well, because of the new network, you can actually sell your content, stream your shows live and all that. So me, two, two minutes with Tim. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to help the entertainment industry in general. I didn't realize when I was creating the raft for myself, when this pandemic hit by getting my show online, I realized that I could help other people. And I can tell you that just by, it's very uh, humbling when you have an idea Mm -hmm. And then you present it to others and they see the vision or they see it. And, and some people don't. So it's like handing a person a ball of clay, make something. And if they don't make anything, cause they have, they don't see it. But everyone I'm handing the ball of clay to, including when we talked about AG and I talked about the uh, streaming Vegas.com. I just bought that domain because I can use this tool to stream your show on streaming Vegas. And then you can not only you be can put the show we've got right now, but you can put that on your, but I also have another show you can stream. If Perfect. You want. Then all we're doing, see what we're doing is creating Networking. networks. Correct. And also for music, see the software allows me to sell music like iTunes wow. and videos like iTunes. So when we magicians, for instance, have their own uh, magic lessons or whatever, and they don't want to give the secrets away, but if they'll sell you the secret, and so, which is already, but so they can put their videos up there. And then there's a, a, a thing that says pay here. So not only can they do the shows like we're talking about and charge for a show like Kitten on the Keys with all these great people, you can put that show together and stream it and sell the ticket and sell the ticket. That's the important thing. We're not here to give, I mean, our whole lives have been dedicated to earning money performing. Well, and unfortunately the, the world thinks that entertainers should not be paid and they should just entertain and do their thing. And, and that's, well, it's, it's that's not right. They, yeah, it's it's not, great to have, they, they love to have you at the party, but they won't have you at the dinner table, sadly. Yeah. And, so, and, so that, and so that's okay. 
because we can, they are still watching Netflix. They're still watching YouTube. They're, com they're consuming entertainment. They're just yeah. getting it in a different way. So the, everything I'm doing is to build that idea so that people like Kitten, myself, yourself, to have a way, one, an outlet, and two, to earn what we deserve. We spend our whole lives. I have so many friends now that are like desperate because they don't want to not want to. They don't know anything else. They've dedicated their whole right. life to performing. Yeah, right. But, so how can anybody reach you now? Uh, Abra.tv. Tim, my email is very simple. Tim at Abra.tv. No www. No com. It's A B R A dot TV. That's the magic network. But I also have a music network called Music TV Live, and we're creating this on, across all platforms. I've got. It's very exciting. Real estate. Wow. Got, yeah. Yeah. It's very exciting. I think that's amazing. AJ, I haven't heard much from you, but I would like you to say a couple of words about our show and what we're doing. Yes, I absolutely love our show. I think it's networking the world. That's so important. This is what we've got to do. And I will send those emails to each of you. So you'll have Suzanne's and Tim's emails. Stay in contact with each other. And if you have any family or friends, please recommend them and send them our way. We like to promote them, encourage them, inspire them. And you're just absolutely lovely, both of you. You look absolutely gorgeous. Amazing. You know, one thing I must say, and I love what you're saying, AJ, they both are professional. And, and when you get people like this and they see your show, and they think, well, I want to look like that too. So they're going to make an effort, hopefully, they're going to make an effort to be on the show and to be professional because people want to still see the profession out there. They want to see how people, they don't want to see them dressed in t-shirts and all this crazy stuff. You can so, I mean, look at you, uh, both of you. You're both dressed beautifully as if you're going out to perform. But this is performing. <laughs> this, is, this is performing. But also, um, we have a little something um, that might interest you. We have a membership we started up. It's only $10 a year, though. So, you know, because it's, it's, um, it's on our website. And what you get, you get to, to put your photograph up there. You get to put the bio up there. We'll also put this two-minute short up there and everything else. And if you've got little snippets or things you want to put up there, we can always take hold of those and put them up there. So you kind of have your own little space. And if you want to change the photograph, we can do that too. And But it's only $10 a year. So we made it very minimal because of you know the, the times at the moment. But it's a place... Well, another place, oh, I don't know if there's other place out there anyway, but there's our place where you can actually be seen. And we can have uh, We all network, uh, we get seen. And that's one of the ideas about the aggregate site is if you drive them to one place and they, going for me, for instance, they come to see Tim Wise yes, and yes. they find Kitten on the Keys. Yes. They find you because they've never known about you or Nina, right? That, right? And yes. so this aggregate site type of idea with Abra is for magicians, but I also have the same concept for music and talk shows. And that. so let's make, let's all work together and make something That's really so magical. Cool. <laughs> so Susan, this, this kind of would help you too, wouldn't it? Oh my goodness. Absolutely. It's the encouragement and it helps you. What does your husband do by the way? Well, um, he's a saxophone player and he's also a nude art model for an art school, but with COVID, you know, he's- well, a bit cold out there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but at least, at least one good thing about um, doing a, a nude for a portrait is the person is at a very long, long distance. So she cannot be touched. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so good things come out of everything, don't they? <laughs> Definitely. And I mean, if if you can get in with the right school or the right artist, it's it's a great way for I'm gonna tell you a story. And actors to make extra money. I'm gonna tell you a funny story. Funny you brought that up. I'll make it short because we're gonna we're gonna go. Um, my very first job was in an art studio in Torquay, Devon, and I remember I was in this art studio, and I remember all these about those four or five people. And I had a bikini on though. I wasn't, I didn't like to go nude. So I had a bikini on and they painted me. That was my, one of my first jobs. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Anyway, we've got, we've got to be running off, I guess, so far. But I want to thank everybody out there um, for, for tuning in and for seeing, you know, how we can help them, AJ, for putting this together. And it's just absolutely amazing. And don't forget to go to our website, www neon speaks media image.com and of course we're on neon uh, vegas live with neon is also on facebook it's on instagram we're, we're all over the place so just put that in there um final words what would you like to say aj yes thank you so
all of our gorgeous guests, Suzanne Ramsey, Tim Wise. You're absolutely beautiful and wonderful, and we need you so much in this world. Thank you for your time tonight and for your beautiful performances. We, You're we welcome. For you. Yes, thank you. And have a thank lovely you, night. Dante. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Georgette Dante. <laughs> yes, link us all together. Thanks, Georgette. We love you. Everybody's getting linked. <laughs> there you are. You have. You should call. Maybe have another station, uh, uh, Tim, called Link. Link the network. <laughs> well, we can talk about that, right? I mean, this is what it's all about. We have to stick together. Yes, and don't forget both of you and come on my show too, Vegas Live.